most important thing in hurling, whether it's under 14 or an inter-county senior, the most important thing is the game, playing the game. Now, uh, it would be too easy for me to come up tonight and get a game going and just stand back and watch it. So, but roughly speaking, I would say every session, half of it would be skill development and half would be a game. Now, needless to say, the, the type of game can be determined by the number of players you have. It could be seven aside. If you have 30, it could be 50 in a side. Or it could be a mixture, it could be backs and forwards. But players want games. And if we spend the whole night doing drills, you're going to lose the players. Now, if we don't work on the skills, they can't play the game. So it's about getting the mixture. And the only thing you can't do, we'll say in ones or twos or threes, is play a game. So when you, when you have the numbers and you have the pitch, and you know, you're limited on a, on a small pitch, Astro, but it's brilliant to have it. So when you do get the, fill, the full pitch and you have the numbers, I would play that 10 a side, 11, 12, 15 a side and loads of it. And then on the nights when you're using the smaller Astro, maybe you're working on the skills. Um, now, so just bear that in mind, it's the skill has to be worked on, but the game is most important. Now, coming, coming down to the skills, and we're, we're just going to tackle a few tonight. Um, Anything I'm doing tonight, believe it or believe it not, we would have done with Kilkenny seniors. And I would do the very same with under 14s. The only difference is the pace you're going at. And to me, the whole game revolves around what I call the seven essentials. People call them the basics, but they're just essentials. No, no rocket science to it at all. Raising the ball has to be worked on. You know, because nowadays, everyone wants to raise every ball. So it's more important than ever that they actually practice it. And you'd be surprised at how many teams, adult teams, don't practice raising. The Kenny seniors will have an element of raising in every single session. So in order, raising, all types of raising, two hands, one hand, jab, roll, move and standing, etc. Raising and catching. Catching is everything from, that's a catch. The opposite is a drop, down to the big fancy catch. So it has to be done. Games are lost because guys miss a pick. Games are lost because lads drop a ball. So that has to be done. So raising and catching. Uh, for, you know, for, from 40 ends on maybe, hooking and blocking, obvious. But they're hugely neglected. Right? Hugely neglected. You have players that are good at hooking, good at blocking. I guarantee you it's going to, it's going to bring five points to your game. Right? So raising, catching, hooking, blocking. Then probably the most important, striking. And again, it's neglected. And I was up with the lads here earlier in the summer, and not just this club here, but stands out a mile. The lack of ability to strike by so many players, not just on their strong side, but in particular on their weaker side. That, that kills teams. Like if it takes three pucks to get the ball from the full back lane to the full forward lane, you have a problem. If it takes four, you have a bigger problem. If you can get it down in one puck or two pucks, you don't have any problem. So every aspect of striking, from a 10-yard strike to a 100-meter strike. Striking, standing, striking, jogging, striking, running. And then the player you're hitting it to. You know, it's easy enough to strike it to someone who's standing over there 50 yards away. But if I'm running and he's running or she's running, that's a different job. And that has to be worked on. And if you watch matches, you will see that's how I lost. I was here wing back. You were going down the wing, wing forward and I tried to pump a ball to you and it's cut off by a centre back and they get a goal above. That's why we lost, because my ability to strike was poor. Or I pop that ball into you and you drop it. All right, so raising, catching, hooking, blocking, striking, hand passing. Hand passing, so important and neglected. You know, from the basic one, I grab a ball and I pop it here to when I'm under pressure and I fire it down 30 metres to a guy that's loose. So raising, catching, hooking, blocking, striking, hand passing, and then the first touch. Yeah, has to be worked on. Faster, faster, and faster. Right? I say with all the skills, get them right first, even in slow motion for the younger ones. Then build up the speed, and then bring in the pressure. So we're looking at first touch. You know, if you puck a ball to me, and it hops here, it's your man is going to take it off me. So after you have to touch, spot on. And then move into the ball, and then move into speed. So that's, that's the game. So we'll work on a few of those tonight. I'm going to concentrate tonight on a little bit of raising, a few, whatever bit of striking we can do. So I mightn't want you all together, lads. You know, at some stage we might just get two or four lads pucking lengthways, okay? If we had the full field, it'd be different. Uh, we look at 
rising, we'll look at a few aspects of striking, we'll look at a bit of hand passing, and maybe at the end um, we might set up a little bit of a, um, what, what, what I call it, a kind of a hand passing game, just, just to pull it all in together, okay? I'm just going to start off, and I, I'd often use this as a warm up, a bit of rising, okay? And most of the skills, most of the skills go on twos anyway, so if I'm rising, there's also a catch. Uh, for striking, there's also a catch or there's a touch. Um, with rising, sometimes I'd work on a, a formal, you know, two ups at one, two ups at two, and we raise it, we leave it down, we go to the back of the line. Some, I call that formal. Sometimes I do that, every second night maybe. And we'll make one then and do a bit of striking, normal stuff. But tonight, just slightly different, we're going to do rising, and I just call it informal, all right? So I'll just give you an extra one there. And give you an extra one there. Normally, I'd like, you know, a group of about six or seven. So if I have 21, I'll set up three little groups. But you just ramble over here. Okay. And you just ramble there. You needn't go too far away. Now, just pick up the balls. Now, just in, in that little area, just start jogging around and dodging each other to warm up. Just moving around, moving around. You needn't go too far away. So I'm using this as a warm up as well. Now, if any of you know these lads, if somebody wants to fall in there and someone wants to fall in there just to keep them going, it'd be a help for me. <coughs> right, boys, as you are, just popping up hand pass to each other. Give a ball, move off and get somebody else. All right, so that's what I'm looking for, movement, okay? <coughs> right, you can open it up a bit, lads, here. Make it a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. A bit wider here, boys, a bit wider. Off you go, come on. All right, boys, it's time. I want you doing a two-handed roll lift. Listen, she wants a two-handed roll lift. When you get it, run off three or four steps and throw the ball off for somebody else. Now, the most important thing here, obviously, after the roll lift, is the moving. What they do in training, they do in a match. So many players, they get a good ball, they catch it, they raise it, and they stand, and they're hooked, or they're blocked. So in training, you beat it into them. Every time that ball comes to hand, you're already gone. You do it in training a million times in the pitch, then you'll automatically do it. So your coaches, you guys are watching them. When they pick the ball, four steps, twist and turning. Try not to run in a straight line, because it's easy hook you. Get into the habit of switching sides, moving. Okay, two-handed roll, off you go. So you keep an eye on them. If one or two more want to get into the middle of them, feel free to do it. Now, you're watching. Are they using two hands? Or are they moving after they raise the ball? Some of them won't. Two-handed roll. Man in the yellow helmet there, he's raising with one hand. I want him to do. I have a reason for it. Carry it four steps. Carry it four steps. Little bit more space here for yourselves, boys. Right. Back to hand passing again. Off you go, hand pass the ball and move away. <coughs> So again, we're warming up, but we're getting a couple of skills in. <coughs> Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Now you'll find with some of your lesser players, they're missing the hand pass, they're dropping the ball, they're not able to rise. Okay. <coughs> Keep on the move, boys. Keep on the move. <coughs> and hold it. Now, what I said, there were seven essentials. Raising and blocking, holding, passing, striking, hand passing, first touch. There's an eighth one that's relevant to all sports, and that's movement. Now to me, movement is S and C. I hate, I hate the term S and C. I call it movement. Movement is everything from being able to twist and turn, dodge, swerve, jump, run, sprint, stay running for the whole hour. Everything to do with that is movement. So we're factoring that in here as well. Like this time, lads, keep the ball in your hand. Don't leave balls loose on the ground. Someone walks on one, gone for six months with a twisted ankle. So what I want this time, we're moving through the pack and we're dodging each other. We're getting down low. So we're warming up and we're getting a bit of work into the legs and into the hips. Off you go. Hold the balls in your hands now for this. So again, the feet, okay? Good on the feet. Vital. Well, at this level, we're hoping they're going past that. Right, holding it right, proper way to do it. You're going down a good gear. You're going down to the, 
the child area, the nursery area, okay? At this stage, we're presuming they know how to do them. But what we're finding here is they're not doing them and their level of skill is not good enough on them. Okay, boys, right, this time, one-handed jab. Off you go, look. And again, I want you to try a few with the full length of the hurl. Try a few with a half length. Try a few with your thumb on top. You have more control. Try gripping it. Now, the surface, you know, you get a grass pitch with no grass sometimes. It's very hard to do a jab lift. So you might have to do the roll lift. So you got to adjust. You got to be able to do them all. Now, make sure you're rising with the toe of the hurl, not the heel of the hurl. This is the problem. Inter-county players, they're running in the heel and they miss it. And they miss it. If they went with the toe, they mightn't miss it. All right. So again, the same crack, run into a ball, one-handed jab, pick it, swerve to your four steps, throw it off for somebody else, get your breath. I don't want to kill you. Then go and go for another one. And look at the quality. Off we go. <coughs> now, you just denying them. They're actually putting a bit of work in. Watch that they're going with the toe of the hurl. Okay? And I asked them to try the different ways. Different times you go full length. Different times you go half hurl. Depends on the grass, depends on who's marking you. You've got to be able to do them all. Good stuff, guys. So make a burst in. Carry the ball. Carry the ball when you get it. We're on the one hand now. We're on the one hand. That's why we're doing it. Good stuff. And that's down to the surface, okay? You know, the astro is not ideal for a jab lift. <coughs> Mucky field. Field in the middle of winter. No grass in it. Not ideal. And that's why they have to be able to do the raw lift as well. Hand passing, but instead of hand passing it to a fella near you, let's have it, please. I want you to look. Look a little bit further. Hop it a bit further. Okay, so open up the blame with it. Off you go. Hand passing. I'll take one of them up. Okay. So again, bit by bit, we're looking for the longer hand pass, okay? <clears throat> and again, they're moving, they're warming up. If you had a few old stretches you want to throw in there, a couple of lunges there, you fire them in. I fire them in there if you need to. You know, and you will need to sometimes. You get 10 plus ups done there in a second, you get a few of these bays done, a bit of hopping and jumping done, I factor it in there. And it, it is important, okay? It is important. Keep on the move, boys. Everyone jogging. Everyone jogging. Don't run in circles. Keep it moving. Right, we're back to rising. So what did we do first? We did the two-handed jab, was it? Okay, we're on the two-handed roll. Two-handed roll, bend your back, and again, swerve. Imagine you're going around two or three players. When you pick it, carry it at four steps. Leave it down. Get your breath, get your breath. Then go again. Off we go. Now you're watching, are they driving into the ball? When they pick it, are they coming out of it? That is savage important. And you keep onto them, and onto them, and onto them. Pick it and move. You know, I could, I could record the sound. Pick it and move. Pick it and move. Pick it and move. So in the match, they pick it, they move. Okay? <coughs> and again, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not looking for sprinting here. For plenty of recovery, but I'm looking for pouncing. Pounce it and go. When you're on, you're on. As much recovery as they want. Same in a match. The ball is the other end of the field most of the game. But when it comes, it comes. Okay? Pick it and move. <whistles> right, lads, I'm noticing already. You're picking it and you're not moving. You pick it and you move as if your life depended on it. You're down two points in a match. The referee is about to blow the whistle. You have to take in that ball to score the goal. That's the way your head is. So you pick it and you're gone. Let's go. Two-handed roll. Pick it and move. As if one or more, two more want to come out here to keep these boys going, because that's, that's the value of coaching. You need every bit of help you can get, even somebody brand new to it. I'm after telling you, pick it and move. So get out there, somebody, and tell them boys to pick it and move. Come on. <coughs> you know, one coach can't watch everybody. So even if you're only making the sandwiches, you can do certain jobs, and that's important. Pick it and move. Come on. Right, that's so a two-handed roll. Good. Right, back to the long hand passing again. Off you go. Now, I might not spend as long as this on it, but I want to go through it, okay? Long-handed pass, boys. Watch your heads. 
Long hand to pass, everyone moving. Everyone moving. Everyone moving. Good stuff, good stuff. That's it, Pete. Right, this time we're on the one-handed roll. Now, very important one. You roll it, and you spin. Okay, you roll it and you spin. Reason is, Peter, come here for a second. Right, Peter is my opponent. And I'm lucky enough, and I'm playing this way, I'm lucky enough to raise it. If I stand, he has me. A little habit. Raise it, and roll. Sorry, and you're in. So you develop the habit here. Raise it and roll. Now, listen. What happens often, I give you an instruction and you miss the raise and you think that's it. If you miss it and it takes you two or three times, that's more important to move then. You know, sometimes in a game, if I get the ball the first time, I can maybe stand because maybe there's nobody on me. But if I miss the first pick, there's guaranteed going to be someone on me. So it's more important then to move. Right. One handed roll and move, spin out of it. So just throw the balls out. Now, in the middle of all this, you know, we're trying to engage the, the players into when they see a ball, they're gone in for the break. The ball is dropping, dropping there on the centre forward, centre back. They're already on the, ro on the run into it. They pick it and they're gone. Pouncing, 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 okay? Keep it going, boys. Keep it going. This is a vital one. Right? You run into a ball. You're going to pick it. And you miss it. And you're gone. Now, that happens to most players. Maybe it doesn't happen to Dublin boys, but down to Kenny it happens. They're going to pick a ball and they miss it. Now, so as soon as you miss it, you have two choices. You can do this and curse, or you can do what you should do, which is put on the brakes. <coughs> Reach back. One handed roll into the paw and off you go. Now, I want you to practice it because it's a mental thing more than anything. That when what you want to do doesn't work, you drop a ball. You don't stop. Okay? So what I want you to do, guys, you might find this difficult. I want you to miss it on purpose. So spy a ball, go to the side of it, and pretend to grab it and miss it. Reach out. Now, reach back. Now watch this. If you put the hurl right on top of the ball, that's what the ball wants to do. Okay, a slight little adjustment. Instead of putting the hurl right on the ball, reach six inches, a foot past it, and then the ball wants to come to you. So I get small children, infants, starting to jet the roll lift, bring the ball for a walk, bring it for a walk. Okay, so what you're doing is, instead of putting the ball hurl on the ball, put it past the ball and pull. At least the ball will come to you, even these cursed rocks. Instead of trying to raise, raise, if you put the hurl over the ball, out she'll come. Alright, so nice and relaxed first of all. Run to a ball, miss it, now you must go past it. Put on the brakes, don't hurt yourself. Reach back, pick it and continue the way you were going. Off you go. <coughs> so already like, go on, run over it, reach back. Now you notice anything, I'm noticing something. Now what I'm noticing, and, and it's a fierce habit with players. Watch. I'm playing that way. I miss it. I put on the brakes and I reach back. What could I do different? This is what some of you are doing. Look, see that? Now your, your, your hurls, most of your hurls are too short anyway in my opinion. But don't worry about my opinion. At least if you have a little short hurl, will you use the full flipping length of it? And then you'll reach back further. You know, it's bad enough to have a little wooden spoon of a hurl. But you don't be hauling, hauling it halfway. You with me? So, if you're gone past it, right? For the love of God, get the full length of the hurl, reach back. Off you go. Do three or four of them. You needn't do them too fast. Just get them right. You see where I'm at? You know, that ball is gone. Reach. Full length hurl sometimes for the block, the hooks. That's why I think hurls are too short. Like, I can turn that into a 30. Look, like that. Nobody that I've yet met can turn a 30 into a 36. And three or four inches of a hurl, the blocks, the hooks, the flicks, look, the rise, look, I can get that there. Little short hurl, I can't get it. You know, in your mind, you're doing two or three, I would say, drill skills, whatever, in, in the session. Know them in advance, have them even on a scrap of paper. Even I know what I'm doing tonight, but it's in a pocket here somewhere. 
right? It's there, even though I know, because it helps me, right? And have it organized, especially if you have help. So maybe we're doing that for five minutes, then we're doing something else. Now, if you have a bit of help, right, I'm looking after the rising. I'm organizing that, you're looking after the next one. But we're all helping each other anyway, so that the session keeps going. We have to keep the boys busy. Now, but not kill them. Depending on the level of the little drill, sometimes they need more recovery. Sometimes you need three in a line. Sometimes you need five in a line. Last thing you want to see is a Q of 20. You know, and it could be a good drill, but it's a Q of 20. You could have made four drills, you understand me? Okay, boys, um, that, that's, that's as basic as you get in racing. But you must practice it. You know, again, I'm going back to Kenny Seniors in my time. Every single night, it might be a minute, it might be two minutes, there's going to be a bit of rising. Got it? Now, um, we're going to touch now on a little bit of striking. Okay, and I'm just looking here. Right, to begin with, lads, we have about 30 metres here. Now, no disrespect to anybody, but at your level, 30 metres, we should never miss. We should never miss. Ball to hand, ball to hand, no ball on the ground. So, what you're doing as coaches is, you're kind of doing the skills test every night in your mind. You're watching. You haven't lined up there 10 metres apart, right? Are they all able to do that? Right, left. Or what I say, instead of saying right, left, I say strong side. Then maybe weak side, because if you don't specify it, they'll keep playing on the strong side. And we watch it, right? Strike and catch it, strike and catch it. Now, what I'll be building in is, when you catch it, you move. When you catch it, you move, okay? Later on then, we'll be building in, getting out to the ball. Because again, if you don't get out to the ball, and it's coming, what happens? Your opponent gets it. So that's learned in an old skill drill. You know, a ball's poked, I'm out to the ball. Touch, out to the ball, okay? Um, we'll be working on, while we're in toes, a little bit of hand, putting the hand out instead of the hurl. So we might put down that ball for a second. We might be doing a bit of this. Hand, hop it off the ground. Hand, because so many players, they could take it in their hand, but they take it on the hurl. You're losing that second. You know, if I'm marking Peter here, and I put it on the hurl, he might flick it away, but by the time it's on it, he has me, or if I take it in the hand, I'm gone. Those little bits. So lads, um, coaches, you just maybe get down to the edges. Lads, I want you guys to start. Peter, you stand here for a second. <coughs> right, we line up roughly in line with the goals, and we're going to start about the width of the goals, and popping ball to each other. Okay, so spread up and down the full length. Get a ball between two. Coaches, um, you may be better off at the end, where you won't get a ball in the mouth. But there should be no ball on the ground. That's what we're looking for. All on your strong side. Off you go. Off you go. Strike in the hand. Strike in the hand. That's it, boys. And we're on our strong side. Striking, 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 striking. Striking, striking, striking. Right. It's time. A little bit of movement. Just, you know, striking. A little bit of shuffle to the right or to the left. Off you go. Before you deliver the ball, a little movement. That's it. That's it. Just throwing off a marker. Lovely. So you're aiming for the head. It's a strong shot, but it's not too strong because you're passing it. Lovely. So strong, strong enough, but he's hit it fairly hard. Fairly hard. <whistles> okay. Right. This time, Joe, thanks. This time, it's to the feet. Nice little stroke like that into the touch. Little move to the side, return, into the touch, and move. Off we go. Relaxed, but fast. <clears throat> now again, you know, touch, 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 striking. Miss one in a match, that could be the chance of the goal, okay? Couldn't do enough of it. If you have five coaches up and down the line, making sure they're busy, 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 okay? That's it. And move, and move. Catch and move. Catch and move. <whistles> right, just hold it one second, lads. Now. If I'm trying to pass the ball there to Cormac, and I strike from here, I could go anywhere. Okay, Cormac, can I have it back again? However, if, if you drop your hull down to the grass, you get a nicer ball from. Okay, let's have it again, Cormac. So instead of striking from up here, let's say he's full forward, and I'm soloing in, and I want to give him possession, instead of hopping it, but drop my hull down, and hit the ball just along the surface. Handier little ball for him to pick. So try that. Off you go. Off you go. <coughs> then, before you return it, move. Lovely. Now, fairly hard. Fairly hard, boys. 
You know, if it doesn't go fairly hard, you can't flick it up. Right, again, we're going to do a bit of hand passing. Off you go, hand passing. From there. And again, a bit of movement. Bit of movement. <coughs> bit of movement, boys. Bit of movement. Right, this time we're working on taking it in the hand. So nice, strong, but not too strong. In the paw. Take it in the paw. Off we go. And again, we're getting a bit of footwork in as well. Don't underestimate the footwork, right? It's savagely important that they're tight, light on the feet, they're on the toes, they're ready to move. Take the ball moving, like a boxer, dancing the whole time. Now come in closer, boys, where you nearly can't see the ball. That's it. The hand should just shoot out automatically, okay? And they get so good at it, they couldn't do it with their eyes closed. They'll know the sound of the ball. They'll hear it, like a bat, okay? In close, boys, in close. Pop away, pop away, pop away. Right, we're doing the striking now on our weak side. Our weak side. I don't want any ball on the ground, ideally. But a few of you make a few mistakes, just for the example, all right? We just need a few mistakes, mate. Off you go on the weak side. Okay, so again, striking, catching, striking, catching, striking, catching. This is vital. You couldn't do enough of them. All right, the top players, they're deadly. Strike, they're accurate, and they rarely drop a ball. Now, it's more important that they're working on the weak side and let them make a thousand mistakes. Better make the mistakes here, okay? That's why we're training. Lovely, lovely, that's quite good. Locking the hands, lads, again. So coaches, they're locking, they're not shoveling. All right, some of the younger players will be shoveling. We'll just talk about that in a minute. <whistles> right, the low one now, off you go on the weak side. The low one, nice little pass into your full forward there. <coughs> Lovely. You can spread out a small bit more if you want to waste. Nice little pass in there now. Lovely. Touch into the paw. Step to the side. Return. Back a little bit. Right this time. Sometimes. Okay. The safest ball that's coming to you is your two hands in the hurl for the touch. That's the safest one. However, I could be Mark and Joe here and the ball could be there. So I have to reach with the one hand. So you've got to get good at it. So what I want this time is nice and relaxed. Try and flick it up with one hand. Take a little movement and let it off to the man again. Okay, nice and relaxed. Flick with one hand, and it's not easy on the astro. Right, come on, puck it out here to me. A little bit away from me. That's what I'm looking for. And I'll throw it back to you. One hand, touch, move away. Touch, move away. Off we go. Off we go. Right, now you might miss a few, but don't relax. So hold the hurl relaxed but firm. Do you see what we're looking for? You know. The good players, you know, the Donny Bucks of these games and the Danny Sutcliffe's, they can do all that kind of stuff. All right, you have to be comfortable enough to do it. Now, play it out to the side of each other. So he has to reach. That's it. Out to the side. Lovely. Lovely. Touch. Lovely. That's the idea. Right, we'll go back. We'll go back to here now. Now, again, the light is decent, but it's not daylight. So, again, we're looking for striking. One on the right. One on the left, into the paw. Off we go. No ball on the ground, ideally. Okay? Now, strong enough that he can get it, but not too hard that he can't catch it. That's good, boys. And move before you return it. Move. Move. You didn't move, did you? No. Don't forget to move. Boys, I need you shouting at them. Move. Move. That takes months to get into their brains, right? Same in the game. Catch the ball. Move. Catch the ball. Move. Okay? And we're looking for a kind of a drill ball as opposed to a big lover. Lovely. Okay. You got the idea. So, like, if I was out in the pitch, I'd be starting them at this width, and then we keep going through their full width of the pitch. You with me on that? That they're whipping the ball 70 metres across the pitch. That's what we'll be working on. Lovely. <whistles> right, lads. At the same distance, I want you trying a few low ones. I want a mixture. Okay, where well, you're going with the two hands and you're stepping. Give me in a ball there, Sean. Or maybe one hand and I missed it. That's why we're working on And I move and I move. And you pick it and you move. You move, you move. Right? Off we go, lads. A nice little mixture. Two hands, one hand. Just be busy. Okay. All right. And it don't, you don't need a huge amount of time at it. You know, two or three minutes at all of this. And it builds up, and you're hoping the lads are doing it in their own time as well. Keep it busy now, boys. Lovely. Lovely. 
I've only, I've only scratched the surface there with striking. Okay, and we were just one opposite one and we were relatively close. Now, it doesn't, you won't do it all the same night, but you plan your training over a period of 10 sessions and you make sure that you're getting everything in sometime over that 10 sessions. Certain things you might want to do them every night. I would have lads poking in toes every night. But some nights I might concentrate on close, other nights I concentrate on long. But make sure 10 weeks doesn't pass by without scratching everything. And you're hoping, boys, you know, what's done in training, you're hoping you guys are coming down here in your own time and you're working on it more. Because the few minutes we get here is not going to make a good hurler out of you, right? That's the bit extra you do. Now, um, what I want to look at here for a second, we're going to look at a small little bit of long striking in a moment. Now, as I said earlier on, there's so many types of striking. That was simple. Standing, both standing. Different job when I'm running. Different job when I'm sprinting. Different job when the lad I'm hitting it to is standing, jogging or sprinting. Right? If Seamus there is sprinting up the field, you know, Seamus, drop that ball. Right, you're heading for goal and I'm trying to give this ball to you. Right, go. Sprint. Sprint. The chess right. Okay, what happened there, Seamus? What happened? Seamus dropped it. The sun was in his eye. Come here to me anyway. No, I paid him a fiver earlier to drop it just to make me look good. Tell me that for a second. What will normally happen is I'll miss him with the ball and he'll have to slow down or overrun it. Now, to get it right, it's like shooting ducks. Depending on the speed of it, lad, you have to aim in front of him so that he can run onto that without breaking pace. Is that making sense? The catch has to be it. Thanks, Seamus. Back in there. Is that making sense to you? No, well, lads, you can't buy it in a shop. You won't get it in a lucky bag. You have to go out and actually do those things. All right? Now, we're going to talk a small bit about hand passing. Um, Carmel, come out here to me for a second. <coughs> come out here to me. Right, Carmel is there. That distance. Hand pass, that distance is so important. I'm under pressure. The shot is not on. He gives the call. Let there be no doubt that there's at least four inches between the ball and the hand. Let there be no doubt. Because if the ref says you throw it, you throw it, even if you didn't. So let there be no doubt. Striking a ball is like striking anything. To strike, you have to come back first, then forward, you know. If I got a strike, you come back and then forward, okay? What a lot of lads are doing now, yeah, they're releasing the ball, all right, but they are pushing it. So to be sure, to be sure, your hand comes back. It only takes a flick of the wrist. Now, at this distance, and we're on the toes, there should be no ball on that ground. That's relatively easy, okay? Okay, however... What about this distance? What do you reckon, Cormac? No bother to you, I'd say, right? No bother to you. Okay, and we're getting the catch in as well. Okay. Now, right. What about this distance, Cormac? You happy with that, Jar? Okay. Okay, we might have it. Just look at that. Please, don't ever have pockets in your togs. I hooked myself there. Seriously, I had it one time, I thought it was grand. When we were getting bald, they used to have a little hairband in the pocket for drying off the sweat. She has had a chance of a goal. I was around 45 at the time. Fickin' hooked me, Seth. Don't ever, have, don't ever have pockets. Where's that ball gone? Okay, what we're coming around to is, for the close hand pass, your grand feet square. For the long one, you turn sideways, like the handball. You turn sideways, and it's boom. Okay, Cormac, go off up there a bit. Now, I'm not a handballer. Right, so that's TJ Reid. Okay, you're Donny Book. Go over there, Donny. And I win a ball here and I'm under pressure. You know, if I can get it to him, that's a goal. So I should be able to turn sideways and pop it on. It wasn't a good pass. It wasn't a good pass. Okay, so boys, I'm going to give you 30 seconds or a minute out in twos. Again, sideways. Right, and whack. And whack. Okay, ultimately, by the time you're 16, you will pop a ball from here right up to the goals. Well, nearly. I'm not 16. I'm getting there. Right. Out in twos. Just spread around. We'll give you 30 seconds. Okay. Come on, boys. Come on. How are we doing? Ah, oh, boys. They're going in closer again. Right. <whistles> hey, what I want you to do now for a moment. I want you jogging around with your partner. Man in the water with jersey there. Seamus. You're looking for a Sam Martin. Call. That's where we're at. Okay. And I'm here. Hey, Seamus. I'm over here. That's all right. Okay, off you go. Off you go, boys. Come on. Off you go. Okay, lads. There's, uh, what are we, 12 lads. 
So give me four players behind each of these cones. Four behind, the line facing down. Have I a goalie? Um, I don't even need a goalie. I should not need a goalie. Oh. Have we? Right, which down you go? Right, line up there. Put the balls in the middle here. Put the balls in the middle. Balls in the middle. Okay. Right. Come in a bit cautious. All, you've probably seen this. I like to give every little drill a name so that you just tell the boys what we're doing. You know, and you don't even need cones then. So I, I call this the weave. All right. So the man in the middle has the ball. Okay. Man in the middle has the ball. He carries it out. Okay. You run across in front of me. I pop it to you. You run across in front of him. The pop it to We're working the way down. We're popping, popping, popping. And we'll say when we get to the 21, whoever has the ball takes the shot. Now, will you stand down around the 21. Here, I'll even give you a cone. No point in bringing them up and not using them, is there? Cones are vital. This is a straightforward little exercise for working on the hand passing. However, we're also working the goalie tonight. And if I had two goalies, I'd leave them in for six or seven shots and swap them. Um, what we're also working on, boys, you take the shot, whoever has it, from around there. But the other two guys follow in. So if the goalie blocks it, scooch it into the net. So we're working on following in. Are you with me? Right, so when they're around there, when they're around there, you shout, shoot, whoever has it. Now, you needn't be too fussy. You can go in a bit farther if you want it. Right, off you go. Nice and relaxed first. Popping it, popping it, popping it, popping it, popping it. Shoot. Follow in. Spark it in. You weren't in quick enough, okay? <whistles> goalie, don't worry about clearing them, all right? So, boys, when you go down, get out of the way and make your way back. Next three go. Now, if you were in the middle, go to the side. Keep picking up a different position when you come back. <coughs> follow in. Now, you see, one man followed in, the other way didn't. Why? Because you forgot, didn't you? Because it was 20 seconds since I told you, and like your memory span is only 10 seconds. Is that right? No, I gave him a fiver earlier just to know that, to make the example. Seriously, boys, listen. <coughs> the best of goals. Dottie O'Callaghan made a career out of following in and getting what looked to be simple goals, but it weren't simple because he raced in 40 yards and ended up flicking. Goalie blocks, flicks. Follow in, follow in, follow in. That's coaching point. So that's why I need the coaching help, right? I need lads down, follow in, follow in, flick it. And I keep that goalie alert. Off we go. <coughs> Off we go, we're popping, we're popping, we're moving. We're popping, we're moving, we're popping, we're moving. Follow in, boys, follow in, follow in. No, no, bury that goalie. Well done. Okay, next three go. Off we go. Now, if you have a big number, you can work the two goals. Are you with me? Yeah. You know, that's about right there because it's, it's tough enough and they want a little bit of recovery. Next men go. Off we go, boys. Off we go. Off we go. Off we go. That ball is hot. Good. That's again. And again, boys. Follow in. Okay. Bring back the ball if you get a chance, boys. Go to you. Don't worry about them. Keep them moving. So, boys, as soon as, as soon as lads take a shot, the next three go. You don't need me to tell you. Okay. You know, this is a little bit different than one-on-one. -on -one. You know, there's a little bit of work involved. It's game-specific. So you bring the drills. You make the drills as game-specific as possible. Lovely, 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 lovely. All is watch the game and all is think. What in that game do we need to work on? All right? Now, the next one. Just a little adaptation. Seamus, you jog down with me this time. Look, so we're popping and we're popping and we're popping. We're popping. Now, come on, we're popping. Whoever has the ball around here, instead of hand passing it, pop it out in front of him and you will let fly in the ground. Bang, pull. Come on, jump, 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 jump. Come back here to me. You know where the ground is. Let fly in the ground means you pull. That's how Dotsy got the goal. So we're after popping a bit. Right, and you're coming in. Now, pull, bang. You see, you couldn't get better. Well done, Dotsy. Right, so whoever has the ball, just pop it out in front of someone. Who bang. That's, that's skill. That's skill. There's goals going for a big one, and boys come and they're flipping can't do it. Now, if I have time, we'll do a bit of ground hurling. Remind me, have to do it. But here's an example of where you must be able to do it. Simple tap in, and guys can't do it. Sideline ball, right? I'm going to take this sideline ball, and suddenly there's a loose man there. To be able to do that, how many guys stick to hurling the ground? Goalie blocks the ball. There's, there's about 50 boys coming in on him. If he raises it, he's fired into the net. Whereas if he blocks it and drives it the hell out the field, no goal. Off we go, boys. And don't forget to follow in. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Pull! He threw it out for himself. That's all right. And there was no follow in. 
Right, you're the following man, all right? Roll in the front. You him to follow him. Pull! Oh, Shaney, man, top class. Pull again, pull again. Right. You know, as soon as you see that ball, you pull. As a good coach told us one time, be pulling while you're looking for it, right? While you're looking for it, be pulling. Well, the ref doesn't know where it is either, all right? But if you, if you don't pull while you're looking, someone else has it gone. So you want to be, be mourning it a bit while you're looking. Now, oh, let's fly, let's fly, let's fly. Follow in, follow in, pull goalie. Well done, goalie, well done. See what that goalie did that time. Danger was, he just cleared it. That's the most important, clear the lines. You know, this cracker raising every ball for the goalie, that doesn't, that doesn't cut ice, you know. A little exercise here that um, is going to in involve a longer strike. So everyone come into the side and um, we'll say, well, just give me two lads, yourself and yourself. Now, you're going up there, you're going down here. Imagine, imagine you're out in the main pitch and your, the, your distance is almost as far as you can puck the ball. So what we're working on here, now, don't puck it too far. You're working out in the field, absolutely driving the ball to each other. Now, to begin with, you know, come in a little bit. I don't want balls getting lost. So let's say I'm off down below and I'm pucking it to you up in the sky and you're catching. All right, off you go down there, Jimmy. Peter, Michael, come on, you go down there. Okay, you go back up, up near the goal. I should have done it there, is there? Right, you go up near the goals. Right, off you go, pucking, high, high. Off you go. Now don't worry, you miss a few lads, will you? Don't catch them all, just miss a few. Under it, get under it, get under it, get under it. Perfect, now, you keep doing that, keep doing it. Now, you see that last ball? Right, he wasn't under it. He wasn't under it, that's why we're doing it. In the game, in the match, you talk about catching the ball. Most important thing about catching the ball, keep poking boys, will you? What the name of God, sure, you don't need me to be telling you. Keep landing them balls high. The most important thing in the game is to pull the ball. Sometimes you see a lad going up and it drops here or it drops there because he's not under. So here's what we're practicing. Okay, off we go. Now, two more lads get ready. Two boys with about the same puck. Get ready. One up there, one down here. Go on, get under it. Get under it. Get under it. And we're working on catching. Are you with me? If you can't do this unopposed, not a hope in a match. And if you can do this unopposed, at pace, then you'll do it in a match. Keep it going, boys. Go on, poking. Right, lob it high so it's time to get under it. Where's that one got? Under it, boys, come on. Under it, under it. Now, plenty of height. The reason for the height, give them time to get under it. Now, I'm looking as well at a corner back that could only clear to the midfield. I'm looking at him in three months' time being able to clear the half back line. And in six months' time, I'm looking at him being able to put it into the full line. Best way to beat these big half back lines. Drive it over their heads. But that takes practice. Drive them. And you'll get boys out in the field and they'll be standing and they'll have the hurl held short. No, a long strike when you're free. Open the shoulders to no one near. Sally Hoad off down the field. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Right, boys. Boys, you pull right back to the wire there now. Okay. Right, the two guys that started, you come off. The two second guys stay out there for a second. Now, this time, you stay there. What's your first name? Patter. Patter. Right, Patter, come out here. What's your friend's name? Huh? Dean. Dean. Come out of the Dean. Right, that'll do you. Right, give me that ball, please. Oh, oh Jesus. Now, lads, this will get your SNC as well. This will get your fitness. Right, so we're, we've been working on putting it down on top of each other. Now, we're putting it away from each other. So, Dean. You know, I'm not trying to trick you. I'm not going to look this way and hit it that way. But you're going to have to move to this ball, okay? Get under it and grab it. Now, take your time. Now, do the same one here for Paddy. Put it away from him. Now, he's over there, Dean. All right? Don't trick him. I want him to know where it's going. Put it away from him, but put it high. Move. That's it. Now, come back in the center again. Put it again. Go to it. Okay, now take your time, no rush. That's it. Do you see where we're at? They can be behind them, to the side, in front of them. So let's just walk away for a minute. Put them high, behind them, to the side of them, in front of them, but high enough that he has time to get it. Do you see what we're doing? Right, you do that for five minutes out in full length pitch. And by God, you will get fit. Right? 
And, you know, when a lad can do that in a game, he'll just sail across the field and grab it. Lovely. Okay, that's, that's what I want. That's what I want. A change on that one. You listen, Paddy? A change on that. Instead of putting it high, I want you to point low. I want it there. I want it there. So you're racing out to it at full pace, and you're picking it, and you have it, and then you're showing me where you want it. Where do you want it? Boom, zinging it. So we're working like savages. Now, if we got three minutes out of this, at full pelt, you need a break. Off we go, go on. Okay, time over. Now this is ideal. Seamus here, right? Is small, and a lad bigger than me. Right, the high one is not ideal for him, but he will skin me underground, if the buy above gives it. He doesn't have to put it there. Put it 20 yards away, he's gone like a Rocketford, and his touch is deadly. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, keep it going, boys. Race for the ball. Show where you it. Okay, make a move. Lovely. On to it again. If you had the base spread out across the field for five minutes, you know, and especially when you have a small number, you can go a full length. All right, your seniors, you know, depends, right? One more, lads. Okay, give me, um, give me two. And two. And two, and two. No, lads. All right. I walk this, you know, sometimes I walk this past the pitch, so I walk at full length. Now, can I have, Seamus, come here for a second. Right, nine times out of ten, there's somebody on you. Okay, so I grab a ball here. Nine times out of ten, there's someone on me. You're, you're with me now this time. The shot is not on. So I get the ball, and I should be able to look there. No, I don't want you running. That's a different skill. I just want you standing there, or even strolling in behind me there. Go in behind me, and say, I'm Martin. And he's there. And I just pop it to him, right? And he strikes it. Now, the next one comes down. Here is coming, Seamus. And I'm with you. Pretend it's coming down there. Go over there and catch that ball. And I'm here. Seamus, pop it to me. Nobody will be marking me. I can see the field then. And I launch that ball up the field. Now, I'm not looking, Seamus. I'm not looking for him to run off the shoulder. I grab this, run off the shoulder. That's, that's tricky. That can go wrong. No need for that one. This is a lazy, simple system. Okay? Now, Seamus is corner back, for example. And he's after working out there. He's off out there. And I'm off in here, full back. Right? And I grab this ball. Jesus, there's ten lads on me. You kick a few, you hit a few. I'm counting four. Well, I'm counting four. One, two, three, four. I could close my eyes and I know that Seamus is there. That's called support. So, Seamus... As soon as I grab this ball, I need you badly. You'll be on your way. So I'm over here to get this ball. Boom, I got it. Boom, 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 boom. There he is. All right, that's all I want. He could be there, he could be here. Nice and relaxed. Now, where I don't want him is, give me that ball again. Come up nearer. There. I don't want him there. Because the guy that's marking me, if I pop it to him, he's going to block him. I want him back far enough that the opponent can't get him. That makes sense? So lads, nice and relaxed. Every second ball. One of you catches it and you lay it off to your friend. Right? And swap around each time. So just give yourselves a bit of room. Thanks for that. Okay. Off you go, boys. One catches, the other tells him, call it, call him. You're too near, boys. You're too near. Now this is where you need coaches to get this across. Not too near. Not too close. Nice and relaxed. That's it. So one catches, the other strikes. Now you see what we're doing here, lads, do you? Right, and you don't want the second lad too near, he's going to be covered. Nice and relaxed. Now, you're catching this one, wherever it goes, and you're just hanging 10 yards off him. On you go to it. I got her squeezing you back there. Okay. Right, okay, boys, jog it in here. Jog it in. Oh, don't, don't, keep it, keep it in the head. It's coming. Coach, just come on up here a bit for a second. Now, do you see what's up there? Do you understand what we're doing? It means there's always support, right? Seamus is corner back over there. And I'm full back. And I see a ball going down that wing. Already, I'm on the way, in case he needs me. And I, whatever we're used to saying, Seamus, watch it. Down our way, we say, watch it. Watch it means I'm here. 
Right, so Seamus is going to that ball. I'm racing over. Watch it, Seamus, watch it. And if he's clear, you tell him. You know, if he's not, watch it means I'm there. And have a quick look around to make sure you're not marked. Now, this is, this is crazy, right? Sometimes, coaches, you watch this. Right, Paddy, you have a ball there in your hand, okay? And I'm with you. Now, hold on a second. Right? Don't hit me the ball. Paddy, 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 Paddy. How often do we hear that? And the boy marking me. That's stupid. You know, before I look for that ball, oh, Jesus, I get here, no one there. Hey, Paddy, don't look for a ball if you're marked. Okay? Don't look for a ball. And this short game that lads are playing, some of them, you know, what's the point in Paddy giving me that ball? And the guy, yeah, give it to me. Even if I get it, Jesus, I'm still in trouble. That's stupid. Paddy, you better off here than himself. So cut out all that stuff. You know, don't give the other boys a, a flipping chance. My plan for hurling is, if we're playing this way, we try and play the game in that half. If we're playing this way, we try and play it up there. So we get the ball down there and try and keep it down there, because when it's down there, it won't be scored up here. Does that make sense to you? And the sooner we can get it down there, the better. And the less messing we do up here, the less chance of a goal coming against us. Now, the great DJ Carey, you never heard him, said one time, the only bad ball to a forward is the one that doesn't come in. So if a ball goes in, don't worry about the forward. Say, hey, boys, I want it this way. I want it that way. The ball is the ball. Now, if you think there's a special ball that suits a back more than a forward, and you're the forward, just for five seconds, pretend you're a back. Then it's a great ball. Do you understand that? Now, if you don't win the ball, what do you do? So this ball comes in and Joey catches it and gets it. What do I do? I make sure he doesn't clear it. Or if he clears it, that he's clearing it under pressure. I don't let him tally ho off out there and, and, and smoke a fag and then pop it where he wants. I come after him like a rocket. Okay, next little exercise we're doing is, I call it three opposite three. So we have 12 players. Two boys here for a second, right? Fairly lively now, boys, come on. In behind him here. That's three, behind him, behind him, behind him, right? One, two, three, just there, one behind the other. Yeah, give me three more here. And three down here. Okay. I have a little workshop called Fitness with the Ball. You know, fitness is vitally important. If you can't stay going for the hour, 70 minutes, you know, no matter how good you are, the other boys, if they're fit, they're going to blow you out. So you have to be flying fit. Have to be. Okay? But if you can do most of your training, now for you guys, I, I do 99% of it with the ball. But for the senior lads, you know, I would, I would I'd put them through hardship sometimes. I'd have them running up hills and down hollows and putting them through hardship because all their lads are lazy devils. But boys like ye, you're flying it. Okay? But the old workshop is fitness with the ball. So I have a collection of drills that basically will kill you. Right? Some of them are simple one like stand over that ball. Mind it, mind the ball, I ain't trying to get ahead of you. Right, that's, you know, like that, that'll kill you. If you're in there for 10 seconds, now it's my turn, and I'm trying to protect this ball, and you're trying to get in. That's fitness with that, will kill you. Now, this one will kill you, but it wasn't designed to kill you, it's designed for touch. Right, so what's happening is, lads, you're going to be right back up at the railings. Wait a second now, and you're going to be down there at that railing, all right? There's only one player working. So, Martin has the ball here, and he's poking it low and fast. And Jenny, you couldn't get a better sir. You're, Dotsy, you are coming like a rocket for that ball. One touch into the paw, still running at full speed, lash it back down the lane and go back to the lane. So what's happening is, match situation. Again, drill skills, think match. Corner back, corner forward. Dotsy, Jesus, by him, Mark and Jack Tyrrell. The ball comes in low. He has to be gone like a rocket for it. If his touch lets him down, Tyrrell has him. Right? If he touch, it's in his hand. And he slows down to strike it, Tyrrell has him. Okay, so what he has to have, out to it like a rocket, touch perfect, still on the run, deliver the ball. Right, we'll see how it works. Right, you go down there between the goal post and the end line, or the corner, and lads, you go over here. Right, you go up there. <coughs> now, ideally, I have a coach there, and there, and there, and there, watching the lads, and making sure they do what? Go like a rocket to it. Now, boys, listen. I'm going over the 30, and I could come out of that ball at 80% pace, and I'd be fairly comfortable I get the ball and drive it up. But 80% below in Crow Park won't work. So what I want you doing is, coming at full pace. I prefer to see you missing the ball at full pace, than coming at 80 and getting it. Because in the match, 
You're a machin dotsy, unless you're going full pace, game over. Now, we'll get a little example. You got a ball. First man there is ready to run. First man. Ready? This is the example for down the ball. You're running. Right, strike it low and go to the back of your line. Come on, come on, come on. Will you come on to it? Only one lad. Just one man. Drive it. Back on the line. Next man out. Now, keep him straight. Low. Keep it low. Next man out. Come on. Jesus, where's he gone? Strike, strike, strike. No solo on. Strike. Always. There's only one player coming out. There's only one player working. All right. Now, boys, a couple of coaches. Go down around and make sure they're doing what we're asking them to do. Come on. Out to meet it. Out to meet it. Move up. It's just out to meet it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Put it in. Oh, geez, it's hot. These balls are hot, lads. Right, no pressure on Garvin, right? But watch this. I, I'm 10 yards behind him. You know, there's no way on earth I should get him. But Garvin, you're going to make a mess of this ball. The nerves are going to get to you. There's not a hope of you getting it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Strike it when you're ready. Go on, Garvin. Go on, you'll miss it, buddy. You'll miss it. Woohoo! You'll miss it. Oh! -ho! <laughs> you see, a little bit of pressure. Right, go on, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Come on, low. Out to it, out to it, out to it. Out to it, come on, come on. Pop it down. If I was to pick one little drill and say it's up there at the top, I'd pick that one. Think about it. Match situation. Gone like a rocket to that ball. Touch spot on. You can't be hurled. You can't be hurled. The top players. What's your man plus for Limerick? Galan, is it? Sure, it's deadly, deadly, isn't it? Once he gets a sniff of it, he's out. That's it, game over, he's on it. He turns around, man marking him as lucky if he points it. But he'd probably go in and score a goal. But he's, you can even work on that against the wall on your own. Popping it, into it, forward, touch, touch, touch. Now, with the hurl, when you're trying to get the touch, don't choke the hurl. Don't squeeze it so hard that your knuckles are white. Hold the hurl firm, firm but relaxed. And the ball hits the hurl, it dies on the hurl. Right, Sam pucking. It dies. Relaxed, relaxed. You with me on that? Just try that yourself for a second. You know, relax the hurl. You're holding it firmly, but when the ball hits it, boom, it dies on it. Okay? If you hold it firmly, bang, it'll bounce off it. It's the same catching. If your hand is rigid, the ball will hop off it. If your hand is relaxed, whoosh, relaxed, the ball will die in the hand. You with me on that? Now, when you're striking long and you want to hit a ball 100 meters, in your brain, say, 90 will do. And that will relax you 10% and whistle a little song when you're hitting it. And off she goes. Whereas if you come in like this and you want to drive it, yes, you'll actually it'll only go half the distance. Same with the sideline ball. You want to cut that over the ball and you're going to lash it. It won't go. Whereas you go nice and relaxed, nice and relaxed, and a nice little shoo, off she goes. That makes sense to you? Okay. Now, I wanted to do a small little bit of ground hurling. It's so important. Now, if I was out in the field, I would swear by it. I'd have you in lines of four. One, two, three. Move to me for a second. You stay there. You come in here. Right. You go up to the end there. You come in here. There. This is the oldest drill in the book. Okay. When I was growing up, this was the drill that the Kenny seniors did. And they were serious players. Now, your s &C comes in, your sharpness comes in, your fitness comes in. Depending on the skill of the players, for older players, you're working full length of the pitch. For younger players, you're maybe working the width of it. Now, you can do it with three, but I prefer it with four. So what we're looking for is this. The guy at the end, you always block the ball. You block it and you play a nice ball down to me. And I move to the ball, right? I'm moving to it. I don't stand waiting. That match, move to the ball. If you don't move, the other one has it. And I brush it on. Next man moves it on. Move it on. He moves it on. Lad at the end blocks it. Plays it out again. Move it on. Move it on. You see what we're doing? Now, listen to this, lads. Players, listen to this. To hit a ball that's moving, right? That ball is coming to me. Down a little bit there, and I want to move it on down. You know, there's so many reasons for this. Dotsy is inside me. He's after shaking off his marker. 
a split second. He says, Martin, now if I stop the ball and raise it, he's picked up. If I can move to that ball and just scutch it down to him, he has it and he's gone. Could be the same in the backs, right? I'm in the backs here and maybe there's a good player, a real good player coming to me. If I raise it, if I, even I do get it to raise it the first time, he has me. Whereas if I get to it and control it and scutch it out to a player, I take him out of the game. Right? What's the big Limerick man called? Kyle Hayes, is it? So I'm marking Kyle Hayes and there's only poor little me. And there's a ball there and I decide to raise it. If I'm lucky enough to raise it. Oh God, not a hope of getting rid of it. However, if I'm smart enough and I get out in front of the ball, Kyle, and I come to it and one of my players is there and I scutch it over there, he won't be getting an all-star. Now, is that making sense? Now, with that ball, lads, and this is, I, I would swear by it, it's worth doing. As I said, if your pitch is smaller, you can put it in trees. One lad, one lad and one in the middle. And you're just working the player in the middle. Moving to the ball, scutching it over. Moving to the ball, scutching it over. Moving to the ball, scutching it over. Okay? Now, the key to it is this. Ball is coming down the field. And I want it to continue. If I stand here and try and hit that ball, I have to be spot on to connect on it there. Very, very difficult. That ball is moving and I run over to it. Very, very difficult. However, if I can see the line of that ball and I get over into the line, there's the line of the ball, all right? And I get me a hurl here. I don't have to wind up. Dermot Healy that trained awfully to win their all Ireland years ago. I remember him telling me when I was a young lad. He says, think of a brush. Just brush it on, he says. Hurl there. Ball is already moved. Hurl there. Brush it on. Brush it on, and she will move. It's already moving. Thing or nothing to keep it going. Now, depending on the speed of the ball, you've got to start your pull when the ball is out there. If I start my pull when it's here, by the time my hurl comes down, the ball has gone to there. So, as you're moving to it, depending on the speed, I might have to start pulling when, where Seamus is. And it's just there, watching it, scutch it on. High ball is coming in. Yes, I love it. I, I'll do this, I'll do that. I'll eat him. Every so often, he'll put his two elbows up here. Right, and he put one of my throats there, and he'll pull on that high ball. Right, it's coming. Right, go on, pull on it. No, no, like this. Right, it's coming. Like that. Okay, so I'm trying to catch it. Go pull on it. Pull on. It. That's it. Right, that's going to. You know, if he does that two or three times in a match, I won't be doing this and that and the other. I, I have to watch. He's going to pull. Go on, right, pull. I watch myself. Now, even if he misses it, I've still gone in. So you're centre forward. Right? Now, even after a while, if I'm tall, one hand, you reach up and you scutch it in. Are you with me? So, you know, you don't wind back like a fool and the ref blow you. You get up your elbows, hurl, and that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. You can practice that against the wall. Now, I would practice it like this in trees. Look down there for a second. Now, I'm throwing this ball to you. Get your hurl up, pretend the ball is coming, and just flick it on. You ready? Flick it on. That's it. It's gone through. It's gone through. Here, you're all right. I'll give you another one. I'll give you another one. You ready? Now you can hold full length hurl. Here she comes. Well done. Well done. Bit of practice. And the higher you get that ball, you're going to take me out of it. You know, don't pull on it here. It's off up there. Reach up. Reach up. Reach up. Up there. Turn around. Turn around. Half turn. Right, so my hand is here. You're up there. And you move it on. Okay, now, even if he misses it, look, and he just leans in a little bit on me, flicks it on, she's gone through. I wouldn't ever try and out catch a catcher. You know, a small player marking a big lad, unless you're special, like Dotsie and Richie Hogan, and are able to rise, ordinary player. Don't play a guy at his own game. Is that making sense? So that, that's your bit of ground hurling. Now, give me one, red, two, three, Asher. Five reds. Step in there for a second, please. Okay, you'll all get a turn here now, boys. Okay. Now, come here to me. One, two, three, four, five non reds. Okay. Right. What we're working on now is a little bit of everything. Boys, you'll come in, you'll be going in here now in a second. Um, we're working on hand passing, we're working on striking, we're working on moving, we're working on a lot of things. Colours, there's the ball. Reds, there's the ball. Now, for the moment, 
This is absolutely unopposed possession. Ye have a ball, ye have a ball. There's your pitch. I want you to use every inch of that pitch. And I want you to hand pass balls and pop balls and a little bit of everything. Right? I could put you in there, but I don't want it too crowded yet, okay? Now, come over here, coach, it's a bit nearer. All right, you're all right. Look, so what I want to see now is, I want to see hand passing, I want to see striking. I want to see guys in every corner of the pitch. Now, that's a tight pitch. You know, that's five on five. Out there in a the match, five on five will have out to the 55 yard line. You know, a pitch is 90 meters wide, they'll have huge space. So I'm working on them now in a tight space. And let's see, can they strike? Right, boys. <whistles> now, I don't want any ball on the ground. Listen, I want a mixture of hand passing, right, and striking, and hand passing and striking. That's what I want. Now, you are the big boys. I don't want any ball on the ground. If a ball goes to the ground, it's somebody's fault. Either the guy that hit it wasn't accurate, or the other lad couldn't catch it. That's what we're watching for. And nobody stands. You're jogging around. I don't want anyone sprinting. You use every square inch on this pitch. Off you go. Right, we just watch them now. <coughs> now, what I would do with all this stuff is, I work in a small place, and then I'll double it, then I'll double it, and eventually we'll work on half the pitch. And there's no way when guys have possession that they should lose the ball. Right, if they have the skill set. But if they haven't the skill set, they will lose it. Right, let's watch them for a few minutes now. <coughs> Ball on the ground. Come on, boys. Ball on the ground. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. There should be no ball on the ground. <coughs> okay, right. You've seen plenty of balls on the ground. Right, hold it. Right, lads. You go in there instead of two of them. You go in instead of one of the reds. Okay, anyone at all. Doesn't matter. Just you, just the hind the boys. Somebody else come off. Did you go in yet? Oh, you're injured. Okay, right. Now. You're off, are you? Right away, have we even numbers? We have. Have we even numbers? Just mark a lad there for a second. Okay, you have a man each, roughly speaking. Right, off you go again. The same thing. You have a ball, each team has a ball. Off you go. Each team has a ball. Now, boys, will you come here for a second? Over here. <coughs> I want you in a moment. I want you in a moment. <coughs> No ball on the ground, everyone moving. Coaches, make sure they're moving, right? Forwards in the field, don't have to be sprinting, constantly moving, tormenting the back, constantly moving. Now, boys, I want to see somebody brave enough to pop a ball. Look, Joy in the corner. Look, I want to see somebody at this distance. Look, Joy, to pop at that distance. Okay, I want striking as well. Hey, <whistles> right, lads, listen, for the next minute, Pop a short one, every long strike you get is a score in your mind. So I want short passes, but you're really looking to get long strikes. So if a long strike comes off, we call it a score. Off you go. And they're, they're unopposed, lads, right? They're unopposed. <clears throat> so we're working on when you're under pressure, you hand pass, you hand pass. But when the pressure is off, you get a strike off. Keep moving, boys, keep moving. Keep moving. <clears throat> keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Right, hold it. I have that ball, please. That hand pass. Where's the other ball? Now, now, boys. This time, there's only one ball. And the red has it. And the reds have an extra player. Okay? Now, what should happen? What should happen? There's no way the colour should feel the weight of that ball. There's no way between hand passing and striking. Now again, hand pass, hand pass, hand pass. If a strike comes off, take the strike. Are you with me? I don't want any physical contact, right? You can block or you can hook. If the ball goes to the ground, just two boys can contest it. I don't want rooks. So the purpose of this exercise is there's six players there on five that have possession. There's no way they should lose it. Every time a man gets a ball, there should be someone to pass it to or strike it to. All right? Now, jog around, and when I whistle, the game is on. Just jog around, and man in yellow there, you'll be coming in now in a moment. It's, right, game is on. The game is on. And you can't foul the ball. 
Right, you can't foul a ball, he dropped it. He dropped it, you see? That's what we're working on, come on. <clears throat> come on, and if you get a chance of a strike, take it. But they shouldn't, they shouldn't get a chance of a strike. If the five are working savage, there's no way they get a strike off, okay? <clears throat> All right, don't kill him in the corner now. <whistles> okay, right. If the ball goes to the ground, just let the Reds pick it up again. Off we go, come on. Come on, let's see, can we get a strike off here? Everyone moving. <clears throat> now you're going in here now, in one second with the colours, right? <clears throat> come on, boys, come on, you're fouling the ball. The non bips that's the colours, isn't it? Yeah. The boys are red. Okay, hold it. <whistles> Man in red, can I have you? Out here for a second. You weren't off yet, were you? No. Right, you're off, right. non bibs have the ball. Now non bibs have an extra player. Same thing, see can you keep possession, off you go. There's a good strike. Come on, that's again, come on, and again. That's turned over, it's turned over. Give it back to him, give it back to him. Come on again, boys, come on. There's a good strike, anyone to give it a? There's a good strike if he gets it. Anyone to give it a? Well done, they still have it. So everybody moving, everybody being available for the ball. Okay, good stuff. Lovely, 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 lovely. Okay, hold it. <whistles> hold it. Right, red man in. Different red man out. Everybody move up. We're making the pitch bigger. And non bib step off, and the other extra red man go back in. So give me one red step out here. Or sorry, one non bib step out. My apologies. Right, just pair off for a second. Let's see, are we writing the numbers? I have an extra red. Right, pick up a ball there. Now, wait for the whistle. Now, boys, we have a bigger space. The bigger the space, there's absolutely no way the other boys should get the ball off you. Okay, off we go. And give it quick. And again, anyone there, boys? And again, great ball if he gets it. And again. So what we're working on, you know, the initial skills of striking and catching and moving, we're bringing them in here now into practice. Well, you on, he drops it. That lets us down, right? Hold it. <whistles> Boys, if it goes to the ground, just let him get it again, okay? Off we go. Well done, Alex. Now, boys, now you have it open. Now, boys, come on. Everyone moving. Good ball if he gets it. Well cut off. Well cut off, yellow. Right, give it back to him. <whistles> give it back to the Reds again. Right, you turned them over that time. And again, quick pass. Well done, quick pass. Well done, quick pass, and look up if you can. Lovely, show me, look up, use the field. Right, hold it there. <whistles> now, players, coaches, you see the way nobody came up here. You're not using the pitch. Right, you go in, and a red come off, lads. A red come off. Coaches, we'll make this pitch bigger again. Come back up. So, extra man is in yellow here. No, he's not, who's the extra man? Who's marking you? Oh, you're, you're off. Okay, we'll just put these down here. Right, you see the size of the pitch, boys? Now, I'm making one little rule here. The player you pass the ball to, he can't give it straight back to you. Okay, so it has to be somebody else. So what happens is, the player that has the ball, at least two of his colleagues have to be available for a pass. No matter how far you have to run. And the more you open it out, and the better strike it, there's no way they should get the ball off you. Right, off we go. <clears throat> now, again, coaches, what lets down lads is their ability to strike accurately, their ability to move into a position, their ability to drop a ball. You know, Valley Hill Shamrocks, they have this off to a fine art. When they get possession, they won't take a shot until it's on. They'll recycle. And Schlock Neil and all these top boys, they'll recycle, they'll move it. There'll always be someone to pass the ball to. That's what we're working on here now. Okay. Keep it moving, boys. Keep it moving. Right, just let them get possession. We don't need tackling here yet. Lovely. Now, give it quick. Give it. And again. And again, the quick pass. The quick pass keeps boys from coming in on top of you. Right, boys, play on. The non-bibs of the ball. Non-bibs, right. Look up. Look up and see where's the loose man. He should be somewhere. Last one. We're using the whole pitch. Okay. You mind stepping off as well? 
No, with two extra reds. No, reds. If you lose possession of this ball, I'm going to shoot the whole lot of you. You have two extra men. You hear me? All right, there's no way. No, colours. Unfortunately, you had two lads sent off. Right, you were a bit dirty. But you're leading by two points. So you go to town on these lads. You have to give them nothing easy. How's that sound? All right, now if you turn over the ball, just give it back to him again. Right, you should get about four passes here. You're making it easy for these boys. You can't give it back to the lad, I give it to you. All right. Don't have a bit on. Stay there. Stay there. Give it down. Jesus, that was a bad pass, but he got it down. No, open it up. Give it up. No, get up on him. No, we're doing it. You see what I'm looking for? Move. Give it. That's the one. Get down on him. Someone else get loose. Oh, well done, you. Now, the two colours go back in. Two boys, who they put off there? Was there another man? In you go. Right. Two reds come off. However I am, you can't say I'm not fair. All right. Now, boys. Colours. You listen to me. Use the whole field. Space them out. Be good on the ball. There we are. Off we go, baby. Give it. That's the hurling. No, come on again. Come on, Matty. We'll pass it. You've got to pass it quick. If you hesitate with that ball, the good players, fine. The good players, the bad players, they want to see the label on. They want to turn and twist. Right? And that's the difference. But it all comes back to striking at the start. The striking, the catching, the striking, the catching. If they don't have that, you can forget about this. You know? We're playing a little game. Goal to goals, so, alright? And um, I actually... We don't even need goalies. It's called ground hurling. Alright, there's no going mad. I want flicks and pulls. Colours are playing down, reds are playing up. Spread out. All on the ground, okay? The game doesn't stop. If there's a goal, someone go in and get it and puck it out. Now, do you know where the ground is? It's down there. No rising. What are you all doing? Spread out, please, will you? Spread out. Now, I'll tell you one thing. After about four sessions of ten minutes of that, and I even start with the big fat first touch balls. They will get better, right? In particular, the smaller lads, they'll be able to handle bigger lads. Just moving the ball, moving the ball, moving the ball, right? But you have to bait it into them. They won't like it, right? You have to hammer it into them. If I had time, what I would play, and I often do it, I'd play a match here, okay? Normal hurling, no goalie. Out in the pitch, I put up cones. Um, I like it, I like it about seven or eight a side, and maybe two games. Now, so you have no goalie. Think about it. There's no goalie. What's that going to encourage you as a player to do? Shoot. Well done. Shoot. What do we do in matches? What are we looking at the Sunday game? What, are, what bad habits are we learning? Here's what we're learning. Jamie has a ball there, right? And I'm here, and we're together. And I said, Jamie, and he hits it to me. Why did he hit it to me? What can I do that he couldn't do? What should he have done? He should have hit it. But this is, this is the way the game has gone stupidly. Right, now it's coaches. You know, the field they have to play three shots there in the backs before the ball goes up the field. You don't have to play three shots unless someone is putting savage pressure here, he has to go short. Someone is putting savage pressure here, he has to go short. But if a guy has the ball and he can hit it, there's no point in risking giving it to a lad for the sake of maybe gaining 10 yards, because the 10 yards that you might gain, you could lose it by you missing the ball. So, when there's no goalie, you'll get a ball here, the no goalie should put it into the goals. Which means, when you're free, shoot. Now, that little game, that will bring one other learning. What else, by playing that game with no goalies, will you learn? Anyone? Think about it. Peter, is it? Alex. Alex, Alex, pick up that ball. Right? I'm Mark and Alex. Okay, I'm Mark and Alex. And he's playing that way. And he has it there. And I'm here. What's the learning? What have I to do? Why? Because if we don't, it's a goal. If you can hit a ball straight, it's a goal. So, it's going to make me. There's how many bases we see. Lads, we lost an all Ireland last year against Limerick. Because sometimes our players... We're watching a Limerick lad with the ball there and they stood here. Why am I standing here? Do you know what they tell you? I'm marking space. You see that? See? That little, that space there. See that little spot there? That scores. That will score goals if you don't mark it. 
Won't it? Won't. Space doesn't score. That's the boy with the ball in the hand. So why should I stand here? I am doing nothing here. As soon as I see Alice getting the ball, I want to be gone like a rocket and put savage pressure on him. Right, if he gets away from me, if I let him off, that's the goal. I have to do me living best to chase him, try and hook and try and do anything. That's what that little game brings. Right, think about it. It brings the boy that has the ball or the girl that has the ball and the shot is on, take the shot. Jesus, you get a great game of that here with the pints and everything. Now, the closing down then, that means you just have to, you have to follow your player. You have to put max pressure on them. If you don't, if they have the simple skill of being able to hit a bloody straight ball, they're going to score. Try that sometime. Give a bowl of bush to the players. Well done, boy, man. I'm not saying it now, but that was, that was top class. You know, fair play to you. You're obviously doing a lot. And keep doing more. All the skills, working on them, all right?